In this video, I wanted to see what these two cameras looked like when I carefully set the video settings, um, left the audio settings on auto. So I will we'll take a listen to how those sound in just a moment. But we have the Nikon D5200 and the Canon T4i side by side, um, both shooting at 1080p, 24 frames per second, same exposure, 1 50th of a second, um, at ISO 400 and f5.6 f-stop. So none of that should be challenging for these cameras. Just want to see if there's any real noticeable difference. I do have some reservations about the Nikon kit lens that came with the body that I got. I don't think it's good. I'm on my way later today to pick up a, a new lens and we'll be doing some uh, additional tests, but it seems fairly soft. As I said, I left the audio levels on auto. Um, or auto gain control. And what that means is when the noise volume in the video drops, the microphones amp up their sensitivity to see if they can catch whatever's happening that got quieter. Um, let's go ahead and switch to the Nikon D5200 audio. So we're switching from an external mic that I usually use. So now you're listening to the stereo onboard microphone of the Nikon D5200. And I'm going to get quiet here for a second and let's see what its auto gain system does. Okay, now let's switch to the Canon T4i. And so now you're listening to the audio coming into the stereo microphone on the Canon T4i. And I'm going to get quiet and see how the Canon responds. Okay, and let's go back to the um, external mic because I think I'm going to sound much better there. So just a quick test um, to look at these two cameras, more video and um, no auto focusing tests in this example. And If you haven't already subscribed, please do. I have lots more videos coming for both the T4i and the Nikon D5200. Um, and come on over to the Facebook page and click like if this video was helpful. Thank you.